you know, we live in a great country. In the United States, we have much to be proud of. We have much to be thankful for. We're number one in many things, but not all things. But we face a range of very serious sustainability challenges. Fiscal, health care, energy, the environment, education, immigration, and Iraq, just to name a few. Our current path is unsustainable. We're here to talk about the fiscal challenge, which overarches everything, and as you all know, bad news flows downhill. So if the federal government has a fiscal problem, that's going to affect state and local governments, it's going to affect the independent sector, and it's ultimately going to affect American families. You know, the budget composition has changed dramatically over the last 40 years. 40 years ago, 43% of the federal budget was for defense, and only 1% was for Medicare and Medicaid. Last year, 20% was for defense, and 19% was for Medicare and Medicaid. 40 years ago, the Congress got to decide how two-thirds of the budget would be spent. Last year, it was 38%. Stated differently, 62% of the budget was on autopilot. That cannot continue. By the way, of that 38%, a vast majority of that is what the federal government is supposed to be doing under the Constitution. National defense, homeland, homeland security, judicial system, Congress, foreign policy, treasury, executive office of the president. Those are all in discretionary spending and are being squeezed more and more. You know, short-term deficits have come down, and some people think, well, gee, the problem is Iraq, Afghanistan, and the Cold War and terrorism, and that's why we're running deficits. That's not true. Last year, we spent about $100 billion on Iraq. That obviously doesn't help. But our operating cash deficit was $434 billion. So we can get out of a rock tomorrow and it's not going to come close to solving our problem. In fact, we haven't yet faced the tsunami of spending, which is the retirement of the baby boom generation and related escalating health care costs, that will start next year uh, and will build over time. In the last six years alone, the nation's total liabilities and unfunded commitments for Social Security and Medicare, the difference between what we promised and the dedicated payroll taxes and premiums that we have to deliver on those promises have increased from $20 trillion to $50 trillion in six years. Of the $50 trillion, $32 trillion is Medicare, $6.4 trillion is Social Security, and $8 trillion of the $32 trillion is the new Medicare prescription drug bill. $50 trillion is $440,000 per American household. Median household income in America is less than $50,000 a year. Therefore, on our current path, each American household has an implicit burden mortgage of $440,000, but no house to back the mortgage. And it's growing faster than the net worth of Americans. You know, state and local governments have their own problem. This is not just a federal problem. GAO issued a report within the last year that showed